Coming to you from Seattle tonight where the roof at T-Mobile Park has been closed for comfort. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Cleveland Indians and the Seattle Mariners. It's Mariners baseball and it's next. Digging in now, number 87. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. First pitch coming, here it is. Oh, break out the tape measure. That one is long gone. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. Coming to the plate now, Danny Galeski, and he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. The one-two. Softly on a line to third. And this will be taken in by the third baseman for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Lead Number 87. He set to lead us off in the, the home baseman. half of the fourth inning. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Flare out toward right center. Russ ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number 87 comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here comes the first pitch. And a fastball misses here to start the at bat. It's 1 and 0. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one. And I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, he's not missing over the plate. From the stretch. Fouled away. Ashley is off of first with two away. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Popped him up. Jones is there to make the catch and the side is retired. So striding forward now Francisco now Mejia. That. He flew out in his last at bat. Francisco Mejia. Hot what shot to third. Scoop can. And that's the second out. Riding into the box, Jamal Selecting Robbins. He ball. singled his last time up. Jamal A bounce to the left side, scooped up. In time to first, and there were two away.
Now at the plate, number 87. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Wow. Trying to work that slider to the outer half, but it misses 1-0. and oh. This is a tough guy right here to hit into a double play. He's fast, and he swings from the left side, so out of the box, he's going to get a good break. You might have to try to get the strikeout right here because very rarely are you going to get this guy to ground into a double play. Jones is under it, two gone. to get the first game of the series but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd seems to energize everybody the rest of the series this evening's game comes to an end 5-4 the final tally Seattle wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one Tyler Danish earns the win his second Angel Zavala hammers down the save his seventh of the campaign so that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.